Hey, what's up? What's good? It's your girl, Mocha Baby. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a newbie, thank you for following me, and I hope that you love it here. This is where the magic resides. If you've been following me for some time, shout out to you. How you doing? How you been? You know how we get to cracking on this channel. We're all just one big, happy, lit family. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Before I get into anything, I gotta take a sip of my juice. And say that it has been a while since I did a review uh, of One More Chance. I think it's been about close to three weeks, if not three weeks, since my last reaction slash review videos. Um, I will say that somewhere along the line, I think it's when they took that mid-season break, I kind of got the numbers of the episodes. I think I got ahead of them. Um, so actually the last video should have been, I was reviewing episodes 8 and 9, and I will go in and correct that at some point. So I'm actually going to reviewing, be reviewing the today, or tonight rather, episode 10 and the finale. Um, and then, uh, I'll come back whenever they air the reunion, because they seem to be holding it mighty tight. I know that they said that they're going to release it in January, but it's almost the middle of January now, and so far we haven't really got a date as of yet, so they are really, really holding that reunion tight. Zeus, what's up with that? Um, but moving right along, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right on into it and dive in, because as always... We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to discuss. And I'm kind of going to recap a little bit of the previous episode. Which it really is not much to recap. Because it's Miss New York uh, who's still talking to the girls. And when we left off, we had an angry Yodela and an angry New York. And then we had Snack Mills coming downstairs jumping into something that really wasn't her business. And that's kind of where we left off at. So now, you know, we got, you know, Snap Mills is still going at it with Yola. She threw her shoe at her. They still rah, 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 rah. And at some point, Snap Mills say something about Yola's mama. Now, I can't remember exactly what it was, but she brought her mama into it. And I do think that that's not cool. You don't bring nobody's mama into your own beef with somebody else. You know what I mean? You don't got to say nothing about their mama. If your problem's with them, then your problem's with them. Um, so, I do think that she was wrong for that. And Yola, if your little came at her with that, then she came at her with that. Um, and she, you know, once again, trying to break free, acting like she was going to do something. I still don't really think that she was really going to do just that that much. But, you know, she was trying to strong arm the security and break free. And she went outside and, you know, New York followed her, like, telling the security don't let her go out in the road. And, you know, inevitably maybe hurt herself if a car don't see her in the road. And uh, said that she wanted to talk to her woman to woman. So, you know, at, at, after a little bit of kind of Yola still rah, 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 and kind of getting Yola love to calm down, she was able to talk to her and took on more of this kind of slightly motherly role, which to me was kind of like you went from 100 all the way down to about maybe 20 or 30 that fast you went from acting like you wanted to completely take this woman's head off to all of a sudden now you actually listening to her and listening to the advice that she had to give you she did give her some sound advice i will say that but i was just a, a bit puzzled scratching my head looking at the screen like now how she went from wanting to the pretty much like if she could have strangled New York, strangled her, and now we buddy buddy and giving each other hugs and stuff. Really? And they did talk outside and 
New York did say that Yola kind of reminded her of herself, and she did, uh, after Yola asked her, you know, if her mama was brought into a situation, uh, would she do the exact same thing, like, you know, basically out for blood, New York did agree, and they talked, and I, then they went inside, but they did not show the rest of their conversation on camera. Uh, what we got next was a conversation with Cheeks, which was a very interesting conversation to say the least. Um, they talked about Cheeks being bisexual, New York being bisexual, and possibly them having the menage a trois with Chance, and Cheeks was with it, New York was with it, New York was talking about her skills, this, that, and the third, and you know, that was a very interesting conversation and then after cheeks we get yummy and yummy was to me she was starstruck because she was like she was in awe of miss new york pretty much um new york was basically like you think you got it so up in the bag who is your competition who do you feel is your competition and you know how yummy is y'all yummy just sitting there like I don't have no competition myself. You know, very, you know, one thing about Yummy, Yummy is very cocky. And she came off very cocky, you know, when she was talking to Miss New York. Just cocky and, you know, I got it in the bag. And I feel like I got it in the bag because I do got it in the bag. And, and once they finished, New York was just like, she cute, but he gonna need more than that. So then, after that, you know, that's all the girls. Wait, no, no, it's not. Take that back. Then we talk. She talks to Snack Mills. I actually, she actually talks to Snack Mills before she talks to Yummy. Um, and that conversation was probably the realest out of all of them. I will say, up until a certain point, um, she was the only one that had the energy of like, yo, I'm here for Chance, and Chance is my man, and. We ride or die. We gonna ride till the wheels fall off type energy. And then, you know, it seemed like they was vibing. They went to talking about how Yola spit on Snack Mills and comparing it to when Pumpkin spit on New York back on um, Real Chance of Love. No, not Real Chance of Love. Or Flavor Flay, I mean. Or Flavor Flay. Correction. And um, they it seemed as if they was going to bond over that particular moment it did and then you know snap mills did this trick with the banana where she made a banana disappear i thought that was interesting that was dope but then it went left snap mills went to snacking because she said that her and new york had been talking for so long that she got hungry and she had snacks pulling them out of her tatas and she was eating the snacks um i don't think that that was really necessary once again fitting into that stereotypical thing of all bbws or all big people all we want to do is eat all the time and don't get me wrong food is delicious you know i love food it's, it's great but that doesn't mean that I want to eat it all the time. Because if that's the case, I will be eating right now while I'm talking to you guys. And I'm not doing that. I do have my cup, but I'm not eating while I'm talking to you. So, no, we don't want to eat all the time. And I just think that she pretty much was a joke the entire show because of her size. You know, beautiful girl. Um, as far as look, she looked just as good as any of the rest of them. But the whole time, her weight and her eating and her eating habits was constantly a joke. And in that particular conversation with New York, it was obsessive. I'm like, honey, no, it's not cute. And then, you know, New York was acting like she trying to talk over snack meals, snacking. And then that's when she brought up about he said you know she he do know that she there for him but he was worried about her eating him out of a house and home and then you know she made the joke of saying you know better his food than his money which you know was a dope was, was a dope comeback i do like that and then um said 
you know, that, you know, she got food because she get food stamps and he ain't got to worry about that because, you know, her refrigerator and her deep freezer is full and yada, yada. So I'm like, girl, why is you on TV talking about you get food stamps? That's what they expect out of us. They expect black folk to run out. And that's what she did when she was talking to New York. She ran out. Okay, now that's all the girls. And then New York goes and she talks to Chance. And they have a conversation. You know, he said, you know, just with all the chaos and them fighting and bickering, he didn't want to do elimination. So he asked her to do it and left her in charge of who should go and who should stay. And like stated previously, four girls were supposed to be sent home. So, you know, she made the comment of saying, you know, well, you know, I'll send them all home and I'll be sitting on your D at the end of the night. Like, and I'm like, oh, Miss New York, Miss New York. And um, she made that statement. And then, you know, he was still saying how he trusts her and her judgment and stuff. Which, you know, you know, you know that they're close friends, yada, yada, boom, the boom. So then, you know, he got up, they hugged, and, you know, he left. And then we get the very, very dramatic scene of New York calling each of the girls back one by one. First, it was unbelievable. She still was making fun of the possible her being a man thing. Um, eliminated her. she was next. Eliminated she um, telling Telling her that um no not telling her but you know she will then you know how they do a little come com, whatever they call it by themselves uh confessional that's it the confessional shot her by herself you know um she was you know basically you know saying that chance was a bitch for that and he was a uh coochie for that you know you know not even you know facing her to eliminate her and saying that she, I think Believable said too that she believed that if it hadn't been for hating ass New York, that, you know, they wouldn't have got eliminated. And then we get Yummy and she's still, you know, cocky Yummy. And so New York decides to bust her down and act like she's going to eliminate her and then call her back. And slowly they use, use the slow-mo to give her a hat. And then they, so she's one of the girls going into the final and then she talks to Snack Mill and she you know she asks the Snack Mill, Do you think your time's up? And she says, No, no. And then she tells her that it is and she eliminates her and tells her that she can go home. And then she talks to Yola. And slow motion, Yola gets her hat. And we're off to the final. So the Finals opened up, and you got Chance kind of thinking about everything that went on for the for the the, season, the first season, and uh, he was saying that he was going to call up his uh, stylist to get the girls cute for dinner, because, you know, since it's COVID, they didn't do how they normally do in those type of shows where they travel to Florida or overseas or somewhere exotic uh, for the, the finale. So, what they did was they had a nice dinner set up for them and a personal chef. And, you know, the girls got the chance to, you know, get glammed up by a makeup artist and, you know, all that good stuff. And so, the girls, um, he, at this point, he didn't know which two girls that New York had picked because she didn't tell him. Or at least that's the way that they tell us that he doesn't know. Uh, which two they were so he had like he was surprised but then not surprised when he saw who it was and basically the whole episode is spent with Yodala and Yummy uh going back and forth arguing about who would be best for Chance because you know Chance asked it all each of them why would they be better for him than the other one and they bring up incidents that haven't happened over the course of the show, I know one incident was the whole Jumba Juice incident, which I discussed thoroughly uh, videos back. 
and basically that, you know, your little hoe, and that, you know, your little has two phones, you know, one full of niggas, and the other phone, the other phone, and then, you know, they bring up as well that, you know, Yummy is an industry girl, you know, that she's been with an R&B star, uh, not really calling names, but insinuating Trey songs, uh, possibly Chris Brown, and uh, she actually admits that she was with a football player, but that was a past relationship, and states that, you know, they all have had passes before coming on the show to find love with Chance. They talk about the mangina incident um, when the show first started. They talk about, um, what else they talk about? They talk about the incident with New York and Chance was basically saying that the, that wasn't cool. You coming off at my guests like that. He was hurt by that. Um, they discussed that. And they also talk about Yodela's rap sheet or alleged rap sheet uh, and that she's been supposedly to jail. But Yodela uh, states that she hasn't and says that that's a falsity that she went to juvie because somebody was trying to bully her and she beat the ass. Yada, yada, whoop, the whoop. So, um, yeah, the, it can, continues to go like that. Uh, yummy eats her salad. Uh, and lamb and Yola states that she don't like the lamb, so they had some chicken ready for her, fried chicken. And then, you know, after that, Chance, you know, excuses himself from the table after taking off his boots because he said his feet hurt. And uh, he then we he comes back, and you got Yola on one side, you got Yummy on the other. He asks Yola to Yodel and you know says some things to her. Then you know tells her to step back, calls Yummy up says some things to her tells her to step back and then he makes the decision and the decision that he makes come on we all saw it coming it was there from the first episode we've seen it all along it's really no surprise at least not to me and probably not to a lot of you either he chose yummy uh and then yodela is kind of just standing there looking cheap but both are very beautiful girls uh both were definitely definitely go far in the entertainment industry if that's what they want to do you know they both already have different and various projects going on and so do some of the other girls that was in the house as well and that was it y'all you know yummy and chance kiss she uh put her legs around him and then she gets on his back and they go upstairs and that's how it ends you guys so Final thoughts, I don't really think I have any outside of that. I knew pretty much how it was going to go. I knew that he was going to pick Yummy. Uh, I knew that Snack Meals was not going to be in the final. But I am happy that she made it as far as she did for a big girl. I do think she is the, the first big girl to make it that far. So I guess you would say uh, the semifinals since they eliminated so many at one time. For her to actually make it that far does show you that we are further, we have progressed further than what we used to or how it was a time where big girls would never be on TV. And if they were, they was always one of the first to go. So shout out to that. Um, she was also one of my favorites. My favorites was she Snack Meals, Yummy, and... And Jonah wasn't that bad, even though I wish that he had not been talking about um, Snap Mills' weight. That's the only real issue I had with him. But outside of that, he was cool. He was funny. And I do, like I said in a previous video, he does deserve his own show, most definitely. So, Zeus, y'all need to get on that ASAP. Um, excited about the reunion. Can't wait for it. I'll be back to talk about it whenever it is they decide to air it. And as always, you guys, subscribe, hit the red box in this area or this area here. Um, hit, ring the bell to be notified every time I make a video so you won't miss any of this beautiful gossip served up hot and fresh here on Mocha Baby's channel. 
As always, stay blessed, stay fly, and I will see you on the other side.